So I'm just about to go out for my morning run. This is the MAT warm up that I do just five minutes before I go out, which stops me getting that cramping sensation or the feeling of pain in the Achilles and the calf. So if any of you out there are having the same kind of issues where you find you're going out for your run and you get this kind of cramping, tightening, pain in your calves and you find that stretching doesn't do the job, foam rolling doesn't do the job, I definitely recommend you watch this video and check out how the MAT uh, warm up can really help you out. Morning everyone, I want to do a quick natural video this morning after going for a little run. Um, just done a three and a half mile run. It's Tuesday the 26th, I think, of May. Just after the bank holiday, so it's a really nice sunny day. And I uh, wanted to fill you in on a bit of a personal experience I've had recently, which has really solidified my understanding of the benefits of some of the techniques that we teach here at Truth. And um, long story short, you know, when we started the lockdown, we had our own gym space. We were using, you know, full equipment. We had racks bars and barbells all that kind of stuff and you know full gym so most of our team was working out in that space using all the equipment that's necessary to to have take yourself for a full body workout we wanted to do once the lockdown hit obviously gym's closed so me personally um i haven't got a gym i've got some bands you know i do a bit of bands but for me it was right let's let's get our running let's start to hit the pavement a little bit because not only was it the benefit of you know, keeping my weight down, maintaining my weight, which let's be honest, most of us are gonna struggle with in lockdown because you might be having extra ice cream or a bit more beer. So it's a great way of maintaining your body weight. But for me, after like my second or third run, I was getting a recurring injury that I always used to get. I used to play rugby, which is massive calf pain down to the Achilles. So um, tried to push through it, tried all the traditional stuff, you know, foam rolling, uh, stretching, you know, ice baths, etc., 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 and nothing was really touching it. The same issue was happening after one mile, um, or when I hit the pace a little bit, just started to cramp up and I couldn't actually continue the run. So, um, had a little chat with my business partner, Tony, about maybe doing an MAT assessment on us. This is a technique that we use with our clients. And after kind of one session, and then being shown that warm up technique, that MAT warm up specifically for pre running. The pain's completely gone. Um, I'm about 10 runs in now and running faster and hitting more distance than I have. You know, I did six miles every day, which is, I haven't done that for a long while. So what you're looking for is you need a kind of the corner of a wall. You can use kind of any kind of flat surface, but the corner of the wall works quite well. So what we're looking to do is effectively warm the calf up in all the ranges. So we're firing that muscle up. So when we go for the run, it's kind of warmed up and ready to go. It's kind of the opposite idea to stretching effectively. So what we're looking at doing is getting the, each foot obviously both sides you're gonna do, keep the foot, the toe turned up and we're gonna push that into the wall as hard as we can. And we're gonna keep holding that for a couple of seconds and then we're gonna move away and then we're gonna push hard into the wall, hold for a couple of seconds. Now what you'll feel as you're doing that, you'll feel a kind of tension and tightness move up your calf. That's just where the muscle fibers are starting to fire up, which is what you want, okay? So then obviously inside as well, and then move away, and then inside as well. Okay, and then we're looking to, to fire up the front of the car, all right, the tibiae anterior. So we're gonna do now, you can do something, but what I personally find is best if you push, give some light resistance and move away and push it back up and then resist with your foot, push away, okay. You wanna kind of do about five to 10 of those. And then finally what I do, just get myself on a step and then we're going to go single foot. So you've got the whole body weight on one leg and then we're going to drive up onto the toe. Keep the heel just off the floor so you're not allowing it to relax. You're just kind of keeping that tension on the calf and it will burn, but the burning sensation is good. That's what you want. It allows you to get that kind of deep burn inside the muscle. That means it's firing up and that's what kind of sensation you want. So you want to do both exercises on both sides, okay? And get that nice and warm, that's gonna help you get through your run.